Erev Tov Rabotai, we are continuing with our Mishnah Yomi, Masechet Kiddushin. We are up to Perek Bet Mishnah Vav. Today's Mishnah should be Leirun Nishmat Neria Ben Svedlana, Ranbai Veliao Ben Burcha Israel of Hanabad Miriam, Sason Ben Ryan, Yoshua Ben Shivra, Menuchatam Beganeden, Amen, and Avdir Ben Chaim de Chaim Veda Refua Shalemav Daniel Shalom Ben Rosa, Betok Shachule Israel. As we learned in chapter 1, Mishnah 1, in chapter 2, Mishnah 1, when a man performs Kiddushin with money or an object of value, he must give the woman at least the worth of a pruta. This Mishnah discusses cases where a man gave less than a pruta at the time of the Kiddushin, but later gave her something worth more than a pruta. Hamkadesh Nashim b'shaveh pruta if someone betrothes two women with something worth only one pruta, so each woman receives only half a pruta, or isha achat bepachot mishere pruta, or if someone betrothes one woman with something worth less than a pruta, afal pisha shalach sivlunot laachar mikan, even if he later sent one of these women bridal gifts worth more than a pruta, it was customary for a groom to give his bride presents such as jewelry, wine, and delicacies, after their betrothal, and Nami Kudesha, she has not betrothed, the original gift did not affect Kiddushin, because it was worth less than a pruta, Shemachmat Kiddushin, Arishonim Shalach, and the later gifts did not affect Kiddushin, because we assume that he sent them on account of the original Kiddushin, meaning he thought that the Kiddushin was valid, and that since she is now his bride, he sent her gifts, he did not intend for the gifts to serve as new Kiddushin money to make up for the original invalid Kiddushin. However, if he had in fact realized that the first Kiddushin was invalid and said that the gifts should serve as Kiddushin money, they would affect Kiddushin as long as they were given in front of two qualified witnesses. A similar law, the Chen Katan Shekidesh, and the same applies to a minor whose, whose Kiddushin is not valid. We know a boy under the age of 13 cannot perform Kiddushin, so in his case... A uh, uh, boy under the age of 13 who betrothed the woman and then sent her bridal gifts after he became an adult. Those gifts do not bring about Kiddushin because we assume he thought that his original Kiddushin was valid and therefore sent her gifts as his bride. He did not intend the gifts to serve as money for Kiddushin and therefore it is not valid. And that is end of Mishnah Vav. Now, the Torah prohibits a man to marry a mother and her daughter or to marry two sisters. Not only are these marriages forbidden, they cannot even take effect. So if a man is married to a certain woman and then betrothes her mother, daughter, or sister, that betrothal does not take effect. The prohibition to marry this woman carries the penalty of karet, and any marriage that carries the penalty of karet cannot take effect. Our Mishnah, Mishnah Zion, teaches the law when a person betrothes a mother and daughter or two sisters at the same time. If someone betrothed the woman and her daughter, for example, he gave each one a one he gave each one a pruta at the same time. Right? If someone betrothed the woman and her daughter at the same time, be giving each one a pruta. Or he betrothed the woman and her sister at the same time. And they are not betrothed, since betrothal to either woman would make the other one a forbidden relative who cannot betrothed, who cannot be betrothed, neither betrothal takes effect. The Mishnah states an incident in which this law was applied in practice. It happened that there were five women, among whom were two sisters, and someone gathered a basket of figs to give them for Kiddushin. These figs belonged to the woman, meaning they grew on a tree owned by the woman, and the man took them without permission. But the figs were grown during the Shemitah year and were considered ownerless, so he was allowed to take them because all produce that grows during the Shemitah year is considered ownerless and must be left in the fields for anyone to take. As the Torah says in Shemot chapter 23 verse 11, He said to the women, All of you are hereby betrothed to me with this basket of figs. And one of the women accepted it on behalf of all of them. One woman was appointed by the other four as their agent to accept Kiddushin for them. And she accepted the basket for all of them. The figs were worth at least five putot. So each woman received one puta's worth. The sages said that although the three unrelated women are betrothed, the two sisters are not betrothed because a man cannot be married to 
two sisters. And that is on Abu Tayyip, today's Mishnah Yemi. Everybody should have an easy and meaningful fast. Baruch Adonai Amen Amen.